pets do. Uh, former Disney CEO Michael Eisner dreamed about building a new kind of Disney theme park. Uh, one that combined the fun and the thrills of a you know traditional amusement park with the lessons on America's history. Now, I, that could be really cool if you trust Disney to provide lessons on America's <laughs> history. Uh, the ambitious park and resort would include scenes from uh, throughout U.S. history, a full-size Civil War uh, fort and, and battlefield for war reenactments, and a World War II airfield with full-scale aircraft and hangars. That'd be pretty cool. Right? Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? That would be really uh, cool. I'd go see I would this. go see it. Yeah. Uh, so they announced plans to build the theme park, which would be called Disney's America, in a Virginia suburb in 93. But in 94, they officially scrapped the project. Um, hmm. So now there's been a uh, documentary produced on this called Disney's America. Here's a look. The idea for the park was actually very different from what they had done in the past. So with the announcement of the park, details came out publicly, and Ew. honestly, the park sounds <laughs> pretty cool. Now, I won't go over everything, but I will highlight some of the coolest things. Okay. Now, with this park, unlike others, it wouldn't start on a main street. Guests would enter at something called Crossroads USA, look... which would be set at the years 1800 to 1850. Eisner, it would that. start this way, so as you travel through the park, you would be traveling through key parts of American history, which is stupidly that's, clever. That's now, cool. one of the most interesting that's things really to cool. me, as the themed facade buildings down the streets would have shops and such on the first floor, on the second and third floor would actually be filled with hotel rooms, which really is different and would allow guests to actually wow. stay inside the park. Like most Disney parks, it would feature several distinct themed areas. These would all build off of Crossroads USA. One of these being a full-size recreation of a Civil War fort that would feature cool a 360 circle vision film inside. Adjacent to the area would feature an authentic battlefield in which reenactments of the Civil War would actually take place. Yes. Others included a classic Again. American theme park and something called Victory Field, a full recreation of a World War II airfield complete with full-scale war era aircrafts and hangars. How did this not happen? Why has yeah, this not great. happened? That's great. Uh, because, uh, I, I think this is uh, the exact land what? that uh, Donald Trump had his winery on oh. in Virginia. Oh. And, the most important uh, they winery build in North Africa. Yeah, yeah they couldn't uh, build it because uh, once they just discovered wine in Virginia. Couldn't they have put the Disney America somewhere else? <laughs> no. Um, apparently not, no. huh? No. All right, well, here's another look. Uh, here's some more information on Disney's America. Lots of people in the area began to show great opposition to the planned park, with people in Why? worry that the resort would ruin the local environment. Masses. The claim Everyone was that the Disney whatever. park would bring in heavy traffic and urbanize the entire oh, area. No. Others Jeez. claimed that the park would pull revenue away from other non-profit tourist attractions. The planned site was so? also only a few miles away from a national <laughs> battlefield park, where over 300,000 soldiers died. Mm. And, of course, people had problems with this. The backlash didn't stop here, though. In spring wow, of 1994, no, award-winning historian oh, David McCulloch formed a group directly to oppose the project. More criticism mm. came in to even opposing the name Disney had chosen for the park, claiming that Disney was trying to corporatize the country. As thousands oh. of people came out to I protest the park, that. It was time for Disney, and especially Michael Eisner, to reevaluate their decision. So while looking over the facts, with all the public opposition, the eight-month operating schedule, and the legitimate finances, they made the decision to instead focus 100% on history, they'd redevelop the park into something different. What they came up with was Disney's American Celebration. This version would focus more on the fun aspects of America rather than the actual history. <laughs> Now, not too much is known about this version. However, it would feature more of the entertainment side of America, such as Coney Island and a full-size recreation of New York's Ebbets Field. The new idea for the company only lasted six weeks when Michael Eisner finally decided to give up on the Virginia Park. So, on September 28, 1994, Michael Eisner officially announced the Disney company would be abandoning its plans to build a park in Virginia. That's Yay, too bad. you won, mm. everyone who's anti-development. Now there's nothing there. <laughs> really too bad. I never it, sounds like, it sounds like the, uh, the officials in, in uh, the town I live in, where they've got no foresight on any sort of... Uh, we just want to stay where we are. We don't want any development here. <laughs> right.
What happens if cars start coming to this town? I don't know. You, you, I don't know. You, you, you might get them. tax money and, and maybe charge me less for the property taxes I'm paying. And then you maybe, How about that? Yeah, I, I, it's uh, yeah. nonsense. It I never understand it. I, I, I don't like places that do that. Short-sighted that, and stupid. Yeah. Yeah, build the crap, man. Now Bring your it. your little town. Yeah, they build is the crap. forward thinking. They build the stuff. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Now, like Jeff, nuts. I mean, would you call your uh, penitentiary a town <laughs> where you live? Uh, no, but they're forward thinking. Yeah, they have work release. They are uh, forward thinking. What you're witnessing here. Uh, no, but I mean, it's it's I, it, that is a. How cool was that though? I, the, that the was really cool. Initial plan. Yeah, I, I'd be all over that. Yeah, I, I mean, take my kids there regularly. Regularly. 